today we're going to talk about Morton's neuroma. Morton's neuroma is a, a tumor or scarring around one of the common digital plantar nerves of the foot. So a nerve that supplies sensation to the foot and as a result it causes pain. And this is what it looks like. So this is, these are the nerves that run up uh, in the middle of your foot between the bones in your foot. They branch off and supply sensation to the toes. Now Morton's neuroma is a ball of scar around one of those nerves. Uh, and it causes the nerve to be dysfunctional, whereby you get tingling and pain, sometimes loss of sensation. People will often describe that they feel like they've got a pebble in the shoe, just as marked on that uh, on that foot there. So that's looking at the underside of your foot. And often it's felt around the web space, either a little bit above the web space or a little bit below, just as is on the diagram there. The patients um, will definitely say to me, look, it feels like I've got a pebble in the shoe. That's commonly how it's described. Often they really struggle with narrow shoes because it puts compression on the on the nerve, it's dysfunctional. High heels definitely make it worse, but definitely any narrow sort of footwear can definitely bring on the pain. Now this diagram here just has got some highlighted toes there because what that shows is that those are the toes that are affected by that nerve. So if the nerve to that web space is affected, those toes are probably going to feel pins and needles, numbness or reduced sensation, possibly pain. In this photo here, we've got um, Morton's neuroma to multiple web spaces, and it's just showing you that the third web space is the most common for Morton's neuroma, followed by the second web space, whereas the first and fourth web spaces of the foot are very uncommon to have a Morton's neuroma, and that's unlikely to be the diagnosis, as the diagnosis is rare in those cases. Now, this is a diagram with the bones painted on, and we're just drawing the Morton's neuroma for you here. We're just showing something called a Mulder's click. So this is when the surgeon puts his uh, fingers either side of the foot and compresses the foot inwards, and what happens is the nerve gets lifted up, and often patients and the surgeon will feel a pop, and that often tells the surgeon that you're likely got a Morton's neuroma. It often brings on your symptoms as well. Now, in terms of treating a Morton's neuroma, first line is what we call non-surgical treatment, um, and generally that's sort of trying to get rid of some of the symptoms, calm them down. We're just gonna draw the Morton's neuroma again here for you so you can clearly see it and what it looks like inside the foot. Now, often uh, first line is to inject around the area with um, some local anesthetic or steroid. That can give you some temporary relief. The other thing is to wear some a wider style of footwear because things like heels and narrow um, shoe areas we're just gonna draw down there um, generally bring on the pain and are not advisable. So they're the sort of things you, you need to avoid if you've been diagnosed with the Morton's neuroma. Um, if those things fail, then you're probably looking at surgical treatment, and that actually just means cutting out the nerve, what's known as an excision of the Morton's neuroma. Um, so we're just going to draw one nerve here with the Morton's neuroma on it, and then we're going to draw a nerve next to it where it would be cut. Um, so the nerve in this one would be cut just, um, just below the level of the Morton's neuroma, and that means that the toes that that nerve supplies, which we're just going to mark here, so be the third and the fourth toe, um, will likely be numb or have some reduced sensation forever, but in saying that, they probably had that already with the Morton's neuroma. So it's really just about getting rid of pain. Um, so look, if you've enjoyed our video here, take a look at some of our other videos on uh, foot causes of foot pain and causes of ankle pain. If you've enjoyed our video, please hit the subscribe button. It allows us to make more videos and gives us more encouragement. Please let us know if there's any videos you would like. And thank you once again for listening.